Break check. You should not be able to do that. Can y'all hear that? Break check. You should not be able to do that. Can y'all hear that?
save money, but you're still going to spend money. You're still going to spend a good portion because you're going to be buying tools or if something breaks or strips out, you got to replace it. Now, if I can get that bolt out and like save it, I ain't going to say save, but I'm going to try to either match it up to something because I don't want that in there. This is the only reason why it's taking me so long for this brake job. So, on the way to a parts store or Wally World, aka Walmart. So, here we go. We can get you there. So, I'm at O'Reilly's and they sell single bits for like seven dollars i'm thinking about getting it but i'm also gonna need more of these so i might have to buy a set later and just avoid it for now because i think this is what i need a t27 and a t30 so i'm gonna buy those they're gonna hit me for like 13 14 dollars 2 30 in the morning 2 30 in the morning little baby Whatever it is. Make sure these are touching. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Whoop -dee. That's what I meant by bad brake pads, right? When they're loose and jiggly and shit, they ain't no good. Now you see how like much I got this pushed in? Now, once you start feeding into the rotor and shit, and you got all this metal that's touching and grinding up against stuff, like there's clips and stuff to let you know that you're on your brakes last. Like, come on now. Now, see, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but I found me a new op. Now, y'all see this right here, right? Top of this bolt or whatever, the head of it. That's a T30. Both of them are. Look at that one. Look how fresh this one looks versus this one, right? So I ain't even gonna lie. It took me about like damn near a week and a half to do my brakes on here because I had to go find certain tools. I had to go find like filter, like bleeding systems, the caliber, um, depressor, compressor, um, like a whole bunch of stuff. Let's right, put that back apart or um, together. I actually sent that too far out. But this is the last one of the last brakes already bled it. Gravity bled it from there. While I'm speaking of bleeding it. I lost my little bleeder cap in here. I knew I was gonna do it too. Well, let me get it. Let me get it. Got it. Little bleeder cap. Look at it. Little bleeder cap don't want to act right. Get back on there, bleeder cap. Oh, yeah, and I will be carrying on in a second as soon as I get done doing this. That's the cap back on. So I'm about to go ahead, put him back on. You know, look at that. Look at all that. That footage. That nighttime footage, y'all. But I'm about to switch over to the other side in a second. I'm going to see y'all there. So, yeah, just finishing up. This is going to be the left and final side. Let that go ahead and lubricate it for me. You know, it's that wrench in a can or, you know, if you go to a dollar store, a spray lubricant. You know, still wrench in a can, though. Still work the same. Go get y'all some. Make it easier on yourselves. Then all I'm doing right now, I'm breaking these pins loose. 
My favorite new op, the e ball, the inverted socket. Lovely.